All right, what I need for the structure of my shelter is I need three Y sticks. I'll need two short ones and one big long one. And this right here will be ideal. All right. See, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna cut it off about, about, about right here. Ain't nothing wrong with cutting it at an angle because I'm going to stab it in the ground. But I'm going to have two of these. I'm going to have a long piece resting right here. And this part stabbed in the ground. I'll grab, grab a couple more. We'll get building on the, the structure of it. Alright. I got everything I need, I believe. Now, the reason I said I needed one big long Y stick, just like this right here. What I want to do, is I want to straddle that. I'm going to take this in here. Shove that in. Take this in here. Shove that in. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do, here's another neat little thing. Of course, you know everybody carries a paracord. Some friends of mine, they will carry a. Hold on, let me get. It. Some friends of mine will just carry a big roll. And instead of carrying a big roll, I just carry a few lengths of it. I stuff them all in my backpack. I stuff them in my pockets, my pants pockets, my jacket pockets. What I like to do, a lot of people, they just carry a big roll, cut off what they need. I cut off lengths and I fuse the ends of them with a cigarette lighter. All right, now one of the things my brother told me about it was a, a neat knot for doing these little A-frames. And uh, let's see, come on in here a little bit closer. Come in here a little closer, what you can do. Okay, I take it and I lay it over it, okay? And then I wrap it around. And then I go back through the original. Go back through the original, okay? You can pull it down, then you can go around, cross over and go up. That right there is a pretty good knot right there. All right. All right, <clears throat> now let's get to digging out our uh, tarp throw it over this. Alright. Now what I'm going to do got my tarp. Alright, lay my tarp over. My garbage bag, I'm gonna take it. My garbage bag is gonna be my floor. Now, you can see how I'm folding this under. I'm trying to get this back a little bit. I'm folding it under. Now, what I want to do is take some old logs and stuff. and I want to seal it up. What I want to do up here is seal it up on the top. Okay, so I've got my little snake hole up at the top. All right. All right, I put a few logs on along it right there and uh, 
that's pretty much it let me show you the little how it should look up front you seal it off real good and there's your hole that's where your smoke's gonna come out All right, I'm going to cut my garbage bag laying in the floor, and then uh, we'll be ready to start a fire and crawl into it. All right, that's what my shelter looks like pretty much. Come over here to the end. You can see clearly how that smoke is coming up out of that hole right there. That's the whole idea right there, is you don't want smoke in your shelter. And you can see how I got it sealed off. I got it sealed off all around. I got it sealed off right down there on the bottom. Sealed off there. I got it sealed off all around that dirt pile right there. All the way around. Uh, got my entrance right here. So I got my fire going down on the end. I got my plastic floor. I got it all sealed off good. I got it sealed off against this old mossy dirt. now. Use common sense. Get all them vines away from the top of it. These are beside it. They're not on top of it. These old rotten logs right here that I've used, they were laying on the ground. They're completely rotten. You don't want to use nothing that will catch on fire. I got smoke billowing out of that thing. I hope it gets down to 10 degrees tonight. I really don't care if it does. All right, let's go around here and go inside to take a look at it. That's right here. This is pretty much what it looks like on the inside. <clears throat> you can use common sense, like I say. See how the smoke's just billowing up in there? There's a few little holes up there, but a couple of little holes ain't gonna hurt nothing. I got, uh, let's see, let's sit you right here for a minute. Oh, uh, this ain't, <laughs> this ain't real good right here, I don't think. It's kind of hard to film inside here, but you get the basic idea. And uh, I ain't worried about nothing tonight, because I don't care what happens. And you know, I can, I got plenty of wood right here, and what I got to do is I got to make sure and keep this fire poked back a little bit. So I got me, I got some nice embers now. I got a little bit of firewood in here. I got nice plastic that I'm laying on. Put my beans up there. I can cook my beans in here now. When I get done, take my water, put my water in there, set my water right on top of my beans. Now you can really see the smoke billowing out in there now. See that smoke's coming up? And that's basically the idea behind it. Um, you know, you can either do it on the side of a hill, and if you don't use this little mantle right here, this rotten piece of wood to seal it off, what you can do is you dig into the side of the hole, dig in the side, and then you dig a hole through the top, and that's going to be your chimney where your smoke is going to come out. Okay? But it's great. My brother, the way he showed me, said you can do it that way or you can do it like this. And so even when the flames are coming up, the flames ain't nowhere near my tarp. Don't want to burn my beans. But anyway, the flames ain't nowhere near the top. I'm completely confident in this shelter. Ain't nothing's going to catch on fire. Ain't going to be no smoke in here. You want to keep the fire pushed to the back of the hole. And uh, like I said a minute ago about uh, my brother teaching me this, there's down trees everywhere and it's great because you got a down tree you just dig into it you find the rotten tree lay it as a mantle and attach your shelter to it and have the hole for the smoke behind it so all right i guess now i'm just gonna i'm gonna drag my pack in here and use it as a pillow and more than likely i'm gonna eat some beans and drink some coffee and just take it easy and enjoy the wild <laughs> All right. Till next time. See ya.